morning. I am going to talk on the, on the new, uh, new areas, uh, part of the chemistry I will be talking. So these, uh, these are the perovskites nanocrystals, as you know that this is an emerging in the last uh, 5 years. So perovskites are well known in the uh, past for the oxides, but when the halides came out, uh, just even the room temperature you can make it and you get the RGB colors, red, green and blue, well your unity quantum efficiency. That is what the beauty. But the problem of these nanocrystals, these are ionic, like a sodium chloride. Even when you open it out, it absorbs moisture. So that's what uh, the major challenge is, uh, how to stabilize this. Uh, but importantly, today I'm going to talk very little on this. Ionic crystal modulation. It's not that easy like in covalent crystal, like zinc oxide or cadmium sulfide, cadmium selenide. So uh, basically the crystal engineering of the ionic crystal should be my major talk here. So this is what you see the reaction flux, all the colors and these are all near unity quantum efficiency. The first one is the chloride, second bromide and third one was iodine. So these halide perovskites are the ionic crystals and the ionic crystal they can have a tuning the band gap with the changing of the halide. And the last one was the doped. You put dope with manganese, you change over the color from blue to the last one. So what happens now? So when talking about nanocrystals, Everything is placed with the organics on the surface. We call it the ligands or capping agent. That's remaining on the surface and that creates the ligand modulation or the crystal engineering. So that's what I will taking it out only. This is the crystals and on the this ligand designing is important, the organic part. Who will come and binding on the particular ligands on the surfaces. So that's all the perovskites and no, the blue one is the cesium here. I'm talking about ABX3, cesium, uh, lead and halides and uh, the octahedra is you can see clearly this is the lead uh, bromine 6 octahedra that is covalent but the blue part has no bonding that is called ionic. So that remaining on the surfaces when it absorbs moisture and completely crystals goes out. So that is the reason keeping that if you do it in the amine or whatever in the organic solvent that is also comes out. So that is what the major challenges why to uh, crystal engineering of these ionic crystals. So here I am talking about the three system, three colors, what are needed for the LEDs, backlight LEDs. The quantum dots, backlight LEDs, they are using indium phosphide, but these are the upcoming because of the stability switch they are still waiting, but these are much more robust, very intense. And all are cubes. So when we late enter to this field, it started in 2015, so which is around seven years now. So then everything they comes out the cubes. Everything you do, whatever you change comes up to cube. If it is no cube, no existence. So that's the reason, uh, question arises how to crystal engineering this to create the new facets that might give a new properties on this. So that's what we proposed uh, a prospective, so I proposed everything can be possible on the surface if it is stabilized by the organics. So that's simple, it's a forma. If you take it out, the ligands can be given this type or this type, whatever you, you like to do it out. So that's the three facets I have taken it out. So and the three facets I'm taking out the just skeleton of the covalent systems like a lead uh, lead one. So that's that's what I'm putting out the three ligands, the different sizes. I have to prepare the ligands in the different sizes. But in contrary to existing all the nano system, the quantum dots these are ionic. But on the surface is a positively charged. The ligands is a positively charged, not like a zinc oxide or zinc sulfur, which is negatively charged. So that's what it is. So we took it out, whatever the cubes are existing in the maybe 4000 papers came out till now everything is coming out to be cube crystals and hexahedron, single wave facets it can be generated. So that's why we generated a, another crystals like Legans here instead of the primary amine we put a two, two uh, tertiary system here. So this is what exactly happened, this is a beta ketone, common reactions has been taken but accidentally we found it out. So uh, the people have used to the directly bromine connected co connected to this benzoyl uh, bromide. We used just one phenyl bromide, one CH2 group, CH2 group extra. So after that, once the SN2 reaction it goes, then gives a uh, the, the tertiary amine. We took it out. Accidentally, we got it out because we are searching something else for our colleagues in the organic chemistry labs, and they they didn't have that. They gave us this one. So once they pu we put that, then we found it out. The cube crystals changing to the 12 faceted crystals. So all of a sudden, the entire system has been changed. It's a new facets came out. So this is that the structures having the dodecahedron systems. 
Okay, that have a different property. They are larger size, but the quantum efficiency does not reduce. It is still your unity. Larger size, it is a 40 nanometer, not expected to give a near unity quantum efficiency. And the lifetime is more than 100 nanoseconds. Still, they are giving the near unity quantum efficiency. That's what I see the beautiful. You see them make a film. Entire film gets self self assembly because they are same size. So that's what it is. And here is the efficiency. So if it is a 12 system, 12 facets, if you annihilate, just to remove some of the ligands, they remove these two facets, it's turning out to be 18, uh, so 26. There are a 14, uh, 14 corners are there, but it's, they change out. So this is the structures what you get on the microscope. Still the quantum efficiency remains your unit. So there are two systems, A system and B system here. So A likes to be these facets and B likes to be this facet. So then what happens after putting it B, we try to change our. So one is excess, otherwise in excess. Let's like change our, we want to see it out. What's going on after post synthesis? So we put these structures here, have A and that of the B. We took this one, we understood that these particular facets are A dominated, A likes this side, but these sides are B likes. So I'm putting more A, what happens here? That these are getting out automatic. So once these are dissolved, we get a middle structures here exactly uh, what the structures we get these are how many crystals you could design it so that the structures which was a different like in 26 faceted structures going to be a an, uh, hexapod the structures you could see in the microscope they are all are same having the every corners has been cut still the quantum efficiency remains near unit there is no way you compromise the quantum efficiency so you have a film you can have a uh, uh, self-assembly films and you have a uh, quantum efficiency of new limits. So that's what iso these are isotropic structures. So then what happens about anisotropic you put a rods. So the concept of classical mechanism of crystal growth, we start a nucleation, we have a small number of particles form the nucleation. Once nucleation is formed, then the monomers comes to the surfaces, they grow. So we call it a zero dimensional particle where no facet has been created. Then once the crystal is growing, then what happens slowly the facets are coming either those facets are generated by its own crystal property which phase it is or your intentionally you are putting the organic on the top that blocking one growing one that's what the classical growth of mechanism the nucleation and growth and you still continue to uh, heat it you for say ripening one kills others like smaller gets uh, smaller larger get growth. but these are only crystals it does not follow any classical mechanism of crystal so once given a cube or anything you cannot make a rod no way there is no way you can make a rod but if you see that anything you put a zinc oxide structure you get rods so many thousands of paper of zinc oxide zinc sulfide you get rods but any ionic crystal even sodium chloride as to start with beginning with the nucleation start to erode no you can't get it because everything you put inject all finished the reaction in one second so you don't have a time reaction time to change our from nucleation to growth. So this is what the problem of these structures came out. So what we do, did it out. So for example, there are three cubes. The cubes I just oriented. Let the cubes which are a literature I oriented. I might make an anisotropic structure. One is the facet direction. One is the edge direction. Another is the forehead direction. Suppose I have cut down this one. Let it be filled up three direction. So that's what I'm talking. The first one I'm taking it out. These are not formed by growth. What did the cubes we are putting it out? Cubes we are putting merging. We are removing the ligands. The cubes are merging, forming the rods. That's as expected, Z direction growth. So then what happens? We go, nothing will happen if you treat A extra ligands of A there. They remaining there. But what happens? There is another one rod to put it out. This is orthorhombic. That is what one is different. I'm not talking, one axis is a, like 1, 1, 0 axis in cubic. These are orthorhombic phase, but uh, so on 1, 0, 0 is a 1, 1, 0 of cubic phase. So what happens is here, these are the structures we have taken it out. So we put the B ligands here. When put the B ligands here, means tertiary ammonium ions, or uh, uh, tertiary ammonium ions choose a particular facet, primary ammonium ions choose a particular facet. So actually these are forming out with the A ligands is a primary primary are A, the other facets are tertiary. So when putting it out, these are the B, the tertiary. So I'm putting A, means excess primary, 
So these are automatically changing to this. So clearly indicates the organic you add, you change the crystal structures. Because those facets are B facet cannot form by stabilized by A facet. So that's the structure turning to these structures. So this is what the entire RMD crystal server. It is nothing can be start from the zero or from the nucleations all by post synthesis made one get it out. Then the question is how we get these roads. So we put a literature the ionic crystals of A, a type, A B type, A, a B C type, any type of ionic crystal. Ionic crystal means one of the ions should be group 1A like sodium, potassium, cesium, rubidium or group 1B. If they, they are in the crystals, those are mostly ionic crystals we consider because there is a covalency is very less. So we, we, we make those first, then we transfer them, ion exchange them with the B, lead. Once put lead, it replaces. These ionic crystals, suppose uh, we ask they go for a copper sulphide. If you ask copper sulphide, make a spherical particle, no one can make it. Copper sulphide spherical particle cannot be made in the nanoscale because the phase itself goes it out of 2D structures. It always from platelet or uh, 2D platelet or 3D platelet. <laughs> Similarly, the peroscates which are coming it out, it does not have your own existence. It's like a, you know, uh, wherever if you want to, uh, to put inside my safe, it will be my safe. If you put the blackboard safe, it will be blackboard safe. There is a crystal, but it does not have its own existence. So you take the safe, where you put it out. So we first make any any ionic crystal, then put lead, then it given it out the structure. So that is why A direction, B direction, C direction, A B direction, one one one, any direction you want, take the parent system lead, put lead. You get cesium lead bromide light emitting your unity quantum efficiency of any cell. Very easy. So that's what the structures you got it out. The edges has been changed. You can see few more structures. So now these are the again we put it out a rod started with the cadmium later change with the lead everything I'm showing is just cesium lead bromide the B A B is lead the A is cesium A B X three is the bromide halide structure the X is the bromide these are vertex direction means one 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 in cubic we call it in orthorhombic two zero one two zero one or one 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 cubic or orthorhombic this direction the rod is there this is the rod okay. So now you put it out the excess elegance on it exactly. See how putting out the getting a spiral, the rod turns to spiral. You are getting nano crystal showing the both cyclic direct uh, CD as well as CPL showing this directly nano crystals, which I have not shown here because I just wanted to show the concept here how the ionic crystals can be surface modulated. Way. So it's turning to be spiral now, the clear nano rods turning out to be spiral spiral add little bit more air you could see some more structures here so basically same way this linear one the linear one changing to the staircase spiral type one because only the ligands who likes on the surface who likes to go it. okay so now what happens you see these structures so these structures are entire was the solid rod the entire structure was solid rod just a little ligands how we have to put it out which is are going to be a tertiary ligands this solid rod transfer okay so when we publish this paper everyone commented without reading cubes are connected but these are not cube connected as i said these are a crystal does not follow any theory of a classical crystal growth these are rods rods are modulated cut down chemically to this these are cubes connected through the kernels so if you are given cube connected it can be connected through the side in the reverse strain like in what physics told it's a top-down approach which make a rods we're cutting down it out but the beautiful properties this some more structures are here you could see it out is that going on so some more structures the beautiful properties are here are the confinement two structures when they combine then what happens you know the exciton confinement was different the lifetime goes on increasing but quantum efficiency doesn't decrease so that's the story is here original parent structure is cesium lead bromide directly we put it out our uh, ligands then what happens the ligands turn out to the structures which are forming like this so and how we got it here again i say this they don't grow these are ionic crystal we sourced in the literature which ionic crystals can have this type of uh, direction direction of this type of 
it was it was found it out cesium carbium bromide so we took that we replaced with the lead when the new crystal form it does not have to bother about what was the original sub lattice was so that's called we a sub lattice we took it out that we have like you know there is a building here so we can replace this door we can replace this windows but we cannot replace the pillar similarly a b x3 and you know cesium is the largest size in the periodic table so cesium you cannot replace that's called bigger size you can replace lead and halide but cesium this is the largest size if you replace then the building will be collapse that's the only concept we used with that concept everything has been changed so then we have a tons of uh, ionic crystals available these are ball using ligands we put the nano and if we put lead these are all are changing it this is the single concept we have used so then what happened little to it showing out little bit the disk exactly how this disk we this is the normal disk form because the cube so it is the literature reported cube cut down the cube i got the left side one but once you out that is called 0 0 1 or c direction in orthorhombic but you see that's 1 0 0 1 0 0 is orthorhombic again cubic it is going to 1 1 0 so so that is what it's a different direction we similarly we have a, this manganese we took it out cesium manganese bromide changed out to the lead which I'm not showing here, we got these structures. So this, if you take it out A, the thing changes because these facets are A kept, primary ammonium kept. So, but if these facets are not A kept, if you want to forcefully put A on it, then you see the beautiful what is going on here. These are the original structures. These are platelets, or we got surgery disc. There are some starting we found it out. Then you see it out when putting A. A means a primary ammonium, simple oil ammonium ion see the structure is turning out to be this okay the quantum efficiency jump here there is a jump up in quantum efficiency coming it out so if you see this way then what happens here these are the structures you could see every crystals everything the surface has been a canal you can also tune the you can also the tune the canals depending on the concentration so basically here it is the high resolution tm even some has a crystal you know like uh, and, and the merging of these two ways crystals still also they are strong. This is the crystal modulation. So basically I used some structures putting it out in the ligands B. I used two ligands A. B is a tertiary ammonium ion. A is a primary ammonium ion. Then turn to these structures. Okay. So that's what I would like to conclude here. The summary. Ionic crystals which does not follow the classical mechanism of crystal growth that CDAC all quantum dot exists can be modulated if a proper organic ligands can be designed it can give a 2d structure one d structures it can have a different also it can retain the neuron unity quantum efficiency but still in the rainy season we cannot our lab is closed now basically one or two reactions we do because if you take it out to tm grids it's it's gone in two hours so everything has to be uh, moisture free so the entire things the, the, the mat these materials which are coming out for the highest photovoltaic or you know the best LEDs these are it has to be a within an organic case otherwise uh, so these are so beautiful materials still long way to go ahead thank you very interesting for the face tuning and its optical properties when you take a ligand like oleolamine Right. The chain length, what, what role it plays in tuning these structures? Any thought on this? See, chain length is something, uh, it, it is not a role in the facet, but the functional group is important. But chain length is very important. Um, chain length is important. If you want to do, do a reaction at higher temperature, higher boiling, it has to be sustained. Because more than chain length, the binding will be stronger, so it will not come out. So every ligand has a on end of dynamic bond. So better the chain length is more resistible. When the small one, small chain, if you take it out, they can make in the low temperature, but if you disperse in the solution, they will come up. You will lose it out. That's what the chain length is important. Uh, excuse me, sir. Yeah. I have a question. Uh, you have uh, shown that uh, the ligands, the structure has been changed. What happens to the PL intensity, whether it, is there any change in the photoluminescence uh, spectra by changing the structure? So, these materials, uh, what the beauty of, very good question, these materials, what are the beauty here? You have a quantum dots, you are talking about CDAC, or you the, use the Samsung, use this QLED TV, which is the indium phosphide. So, there is a band gap. 
So once there is a trap state sarcoma within this one, if you put this quantum dots out, oxygen or something bonding out, the intermediate trap states comes. So your em emission intensity are coins going up. But this one, what are the trap coming below the valence band? Below the valence band. The traps comes mostly below the valence band. So even you make a trap, the emission should not decrease. But the problem is that the crystal disintegrates because of the first ion, the A plus ion with cesium ion or rubidium ion that ionizes with water comes out. Crystal disintegrates. But the concept of trap state is not there. So quantum efficiency, you are not supposed to get under any circumstances less than at least 80 percent. Whatever you say. That's the most beauty of this. So the intensity. But in intensity intensity will be there 80 percent whatever you take the materials but one good thing here if you increase the size the lifetime will be changing normal quantum dots 5 nits cd 5 nanometer cds you get a 3 to 4 nanosecond lifetime which emission with a zinc sulfide cell can go to near unity but here what happens the 5 nanosecond also near unity 10 nanosecond also near unity 100 nanosecond also near unity even 150 nanosecond also near unity excellent talk um, I was just wondering whether there is enough uh, knowledge now accumulated that you can start modeling this so that uh, before you select the next uh, ligand, you could almost predict what should be the crystal. Uh, well, uh, so we, uh, this, this is a big question. Um, there are also some theoretical groups are doing, some models are doing not on the um, ligand side. Ligand side's modelings are not done. I have not seen the ligand side modeling. But in the first glance, we put the similar way from the Mark book where we put it out at least 5 lakhs rupees chemicals turning out to finding a new, but everything failed yet. So that's what I'm talking about. It's a lock. Which one is putting out? Uh, exactly, we put it out that a modeling can be done first, then you select rather than we are just blinding coming out. I mean, the ligands we got, we are searching from benzoyl bromide, but uh, that lab, uh, the Surajit Sinai is my colleague, that lab does not have that. They gave you take it out one functional group set. That is what the entire scenario as a new facet has been created. So theory is definitely needed. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Nadan. Yeah. The, you have talked initially that the ionic crystals are uh, unstable. Correct. Yeah. But finally, your talk ended with the unstability of the nano crystal you have designed. So uh, what is that? See, uh, I, I I I agree with you. I just made this crystals. Everything is under no. And moisture, no moisture. Everything I saw is a no moisture. Yeah. Unstability comes when moisture comes out. Yeah, yeah. When moisture comes out, if you put inside the glove box measurement, everything are done under mo no moisture. If you take the moisture, obviously, all the surfaces cannot be ligand kept. Some will be there where vacate. Those will come out. So, what will be their utility? No utility. You have to, one more step. We have to go. We have to make a surface cell on it. We have to make a surface cell on it. But surface cell is difficult because ionic covalent interaction epitaxy is not easy. Ionic, ionic bonded end, this channel, then the covalent bonding starts. That epitaxy is quite difficult. That's where stopped. So there is no, no heterostructure of epitaxy of this. When the heterostructure of epitaxy will de develop, now it will be on your Another nice uh, talk. I have just one question, uh, just query. Uh, if you take, um, uh, uh, if you make amine uh, with four different functional group, uh, I mean chiral. So, uh, what will be the effect of your structure? Have you uh, started? Well, um, amine chiral. You are talking about amine side bonding. We need a, why it is a plus one, right? A plus. Yes. A B X three A plus. Cesium plus, rubidium plus, potassium plus, sodium plus. So we need a ammonium ion, which is a plus charge, and fit there. Okay, that's what it is. So, uh, and uh, there is a partial hydrogen bond people are talking about, there are which are stable, stable are going on. If you put a chirality, where you introduce chirality? And the ligand chain, if you want the chirality, you get a chiral property, but it's not going to change your facet. Okay. Only the functional group which binds on the surface. Okay. So, the size of the functional groups, that's what the facets, you know, that's what it is here. Uh, this one uh, means when the field has been started, that's what I had proposed here. Uh, this is a perspective I had proposed here, no? Before the field field has been started. Sorry, long way to go. This one I had proposed that ionic crystals we can do, 
Then what will happen here? What is the size remaining? Suppose this is the size or this is the size. This is the big big arm will fit here this in this position. This is the size little small cut arm. This is the projection would pick data. Okay. 